Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to talk about the SCCM co-management client apps uh, workload. In my environment, I have co-management enabled. However, only the compliance workload has been transferred to Intune uh, and not the client apps workload. My environment consists of SCCM 1910 Windows 10 1803 edition. Let me show you my workload settings. You can see only compliance policies have been transferred to Pilot Intune. Now we will transfer client apps and see how it uh, works. This client apps policy feature is not enabled by default, so we will have to enable it. To do that, we will go under administration, updates and servicing uh, features. So you see mobile apps for co-managed devices. So I had to turn it on, so it was off, so I have done that earlier. Sometimes you might see that this option is grayed out. And to enable that, you need to go under sites, your site name, hierarchy settings, and check this box, consent to use pre-release features, uh, which I already did. So in my environment, I get the setting to transfer the workload to Intune. So I'm going to transfer it to Pilot Intune for now, which is targeted to a collection which only has one Windows 10 computer. So I will go on staging, client apps, browse, select my collection which has my Windows 10 machine. I'm going to apply that. And next uh, we will go to the Windows 10 machine and see in the logs what all changes are being done there. So let me minimize this and open my Windows 10. So this is my Windows 10 machine. So we'll go to C, Windows, CCM, Logs. Okay. I will open co-management-handler.log file. So nothing here. Let me refresh the policy. So as soon as you refresh it, it has started doing its stuff. Uh, we are interested in looking at the value. So here it's uh, changing the value to 67. Then now we will test uh, by deploying some apps from Intune to see whether the workload has been transferred or not. So let me close everything, minimize. Another change which we see in Windows 10 once we enable the client apps is that it installs uh, the Intune extension. So we can check and see program files x86 Microsoft Intune management extension. Now we will try deploying the application from Intune to the Windows 10 machine. This is my Intune portal. I will go to applications. I already have created a Win32 app for 7-Zip. So I have packaged it with the command line to install and uninstall without testing whether it would work or not because the basic idea here is to just check whether that app comes in company portal or not so I'm going to assign this app as available to my user group because uh, we can't make the app available to devices uh, win32 apps so I'm going to save it okay Similarly, I have created the 7-zip app in my SCCM as well. So I'm going to deploy this so that it should appear in Software Center. So I'm going to deploy this to the device collection in which my Windows 10 machine is. I'm going to make it available. So now I have uh, made both the applications uh, available. 
from Intune as well as uh, SCCM. So let me run the policy sync for SCCM first. And then also for Intune. Let me check in the software center whether the app is showing or not. No, it hasn't come up. Now let me check in the company portal. It's blank. So let's uh, wait for a few minutes for the policy to sync and then we will check software center and company portal both of them. Okay, now look into the company portal. It shows the app uh, which we published to the user. If I click on install, it won't work because the command lines are not correct, but at least it's uh, showing us here. So it's uh, syncing and will begin the downloading of app shortly. So let us look at some files. So if we go under C program files x86 manage Microsoft Intune management extension content. So this is the folder which is used for downloading the content. We will also look at the log file location. So it would be C program data Microsoft uh, Intune management extension logs Intune manager management extension dot log. So if we see here uh, the prefix win32.app so it shows us the command line it's executing so it will obviously not work because this command line is incorrect but uh, from this log we can see that the file has been downloaded and it has started executing it so this is the log file which you can check for execution under C program data Microsoft Intune management extension logs We also publish the app from SCCM. So let's look in the software center. Yeah, we see 7-zip here. So let's try to install it. It will keep on running and fail eventually because of the command line. So now we have tested the client app and also seen the log file from the Intune side to check uh, whether the application is being deployed or not from the SCCM side the log files remain the same uh, the old ones app and force.log and app discovery.log which we can check for app installation so now we know once we move the workload to Intune for client apps we can deploy the app from Intune as well as from SCCM